I'm Chris Bishop. And I'm Troy Schramm. Today we're talking about weapons and vehicles. Let's start by saying that along with many new weapons, players will recognize many classics from Planet Side that have been completely overhauled. Every weapon's had its models, textures, and effects touched to some degree. We haven't thrown out six years of weapon balance and tunings either. Planet Side 2 veterans are going to be able to pick up their favorites, still land headshots if they're not rusty. We intend to retouch and redesign many favorites from Planet Side that players can look forward to in the future. Of course we have things like submachine guns and assault rifles, but we intend to make full use of the sci-fi genre so the players are excited about every weapon they unlock. As players progress through the match, they're going to find weapons and nanites or currency that they can then use to get equipment and other weapons at terminals scattered across the map. Of course, higher tier doesn't mean more damage. Higher tier guns will come with more attachments and utility through their underbarrels. Underbarrel attachments? What are those, Chris? Most weapon types have underbarrel attachments at higher tiers. This will allow players to make use of guns that they wouldn't otherwise use. You could use the assault rifle's rockets to finish off a vehicle before they get away. Ah, yes, vehicles. One of the major pillars of Planetside Arena is mobility. With that said, it gave players a personal vehicle that they can summon at any time. Now, we want to make use of vehicles where it makes sense. We don't want infantry warfare to stomp out vehicles or vice versa. So you can expect there to be game modes where it's just infantry or even game modes where you're constrained to just vehicles. This could include infantry capture the flag or vehicle racing. We're adding new vehicles to Planetside Arenas, but players should definitely look for old favorites from Planetside 2. Vehicles would be treated no different than characters and weapons in terms of art and design. Then we go under the hood and we dial in the characteristics and behavior of that vehicle to suit the role that we want for it. For example, our personal summon vehicles. Flash is way grippier, much better for climbing hills and doing tricks off of ramps. The Tempest, on the other hand, maintains momentum around the outskirts of a battle very well. The Tempest? What new vehicle is that, Troy? Wanted to put a jet bike in Planetside Arena. With your help, we were able to get a rapid prototype into Planetside Arena very quickly. As much as I've always liked the Flash, I always felt like I wanted something a little more fun to zip around the battlefield. What's more fun than your own personal jet bike? The SMG is really, really dope. I love it because of the underbarrel attachment. It's got an impulse, so you can use it to kind of knock your enemies around the battlefield and just kind of toy with them before you kill them. I like the drop pod, because it gets me to the shit. 